What up, party people? All right. Let's do a tarot card reading. Let's go ahead and shuffle them. Wait for Mandy and other people to get on here. I hope everybody's doing well. I already had two kids up here, out here this morning, so I'm sure the other ones will come along. Oh. Da, da, da. Hey, Mandy. All right, Mandy, which ones do you want to use today? You want to use these cool ones? These? Or should we start with these? So first, second. Hey, Mandy Seeks. I've got two of the Mandys in here already. So which one you want to do? This one, less invasive, or this one? So. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Well, if you girls don't tell me, I'm just going to pull it up myself. And whatever comes out, comes out. You guys know how it goes. I just had one come out right now. All right, let's do this. I saged both both of them this morning because they weren't um, shuffling well. So, that's weird. All right, let's just go ahead and start flipping. I'll do this. Mandy, Mandy Seek says the first one. Cool, because that's what I got, Mandy. Um, so, I guess right now is the time for someone to be natural, authentic, real, or organic. So you're probably working on that, I would imagine, getting over the past. Um, it's something that you already know. It's just a personal evidence of it. Um, speaking the truth, speaking out, maybe helping others um, in their time of need. Uh, but you have this newness and energy surrounding you. So that's, that's always a good thing. So Mandy Seeks is looking pretty good. It looks, it looks like you overcame um, whatever from the past some kind of falling out because I had one fall out um, with you being your authentic self and real and organic you know if they don't like it screw them who cares um, that's you you need to speak your truth you witnessed you knew a lot you you went through a lot type thing from the past um, and now you have this new vitality new energy just a newness about you um, and and your strengths and what you've overcome from the past type thing let me get this one up though God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. Um, so the death will come. So the death or the ending to that old situation for the new. You can't have new without getting rid of the old first type of thing. You know what I mean? So let me put this back in here. And then we'll get out the other ones. All right. I'm taking down my hair because icy scrunchies hurting me. These fucking things. It's like, ugh. Anyway. Watch the dandruff fly, people. It's like, nah, I only have it a little bit. It's not that bad. Okay, hey, Angie. All right, so let's use these cards. I miss you, Ange. That sucks that you moved back in right close to where we used to live, and now I'm gone, you know? Thanks, Mandy. But that's all right, Angie. I'm always around via social media, email, and, of course, phone. But anyway, okay, so let's shuffle these right quick. Put this down. Oh, shit, now I'm breaking my phone. I don't want to do that. Oh, fuck. Nugget, man. Hold on, guys. Oh, I hope I didn't break that. Ray will be so pissed. Not really, not really. He wouldn't be mad at me. He never gets mad at me. If he gets mad at me, I don't know. But he doesn't. Because I'm so awesome. It's like, no, let me stop. Okay. Well, look at those dirty dishes in the sink, y'all. All right. Let's see what's going on with some... Ooh. Ooh, some kind of falling out. The justice card. Someone either needs to be fair or show fair... Well, so, show fairness to others or be fair to yourself. You know, um, it's some kind of agreement. I don't know. Um, are you trying to prove yourself to someone? Something like that. Hi, Hope. I miss you too. If I, you know, if I saw you, I'd be hugging you. 
So I don't know if somebody's getting uh, new jobs, new kind of approvals from someone or some kind of situation. Uh, it's some kind of new contractual agreement, something, something that they maybe had previously but haven't had in a while, something like that. <clears throat> Someone, I don't know, someone's feeling a little stuck or blah or bored. Honestly, I'm bored as fuck, okay? Bored AF. And I'm one of those people that really don't go anywhere unless, like, I have to do something, you know, doctor's appointments or grocery store. <sighs> and even I am ready to get out and, like, go do something. So that says a lot, you know what I mean? But anyway. So if somebody's feeling stuck in a rut, avoiding a certain situation or someone, something, something like that, okay? Not really sure. It's 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 too much is going on. Uh, maybe a lot of partying. Um, I'm going to have to say this. Don't anybody take it the wrong way, but someone might be doing a little bit too much drinking. Um, partying. Maybe some kind of, I don't want to say bullying, but maybe somebody is using a certain situation to get what they want, in a sense. Not for me to decide. Hi, Frida. How are you? I think that this, some it has to do with cups in a relationship. So what I'm thinking is somebody is manipulating a certain situation um, for their betterment of it. Um, this may be you need to get out and meet new people while this other person is out meeting people. Maybe this is a time to make new relationships, new acquaintances, things like that. You don't need a new bestie, but you know, you, you might need just some new people surrounding you, you know, um, step away from the old, come into the new, but it looks like somebody is having a problem. Um, and it has to do with your emotions that they're, the alcoholism is getting out of control. The partying is out of control because it's all emotionally based because they're just not happy with probably themselves. We think it's our partner or our situation, but it's really us because we're not fulfilled um, with what we're doing or just with ourselves in general. Um, so that's why I always, you'll hear me say about um, being uh, speaking your truth. Uh, it's really hard sometimes, especially if you're going through it, but it's so worth it in the long run. So anyway, um, but somebody is, like I said, using too much alcohol or partying. Um, and then maybe when they're drinking, the whole bullying thing comes in to play where they're like a mean fucking drunk or something. What else? That's not for me to decide. But anyway, back to it. Again, more cups. It has to do with more emotions. Um, you're feeling overwhelmed. Uh, too, too much stuff is, is going on. Too many emotions. You're in your emotions. Uh, you can't decide what you want to do, where you want to go. Just bored, bored, bored. Then you got a lot of questions waiting for feedback to come. So it's like, what, what is, okay, what kind of feedback are you, is somebody waiting for? It's favorable feedback, but it has to do with a relationship, whether that, it's, it's not work. It's either like a family relationship, like emotional ties, and somebody has a lot of decisions that they have to, um, you know, give feedback on, reports, reviews. So I'm not really sure if this is somebody like thinking about what's going on within a familiar situation, but something's going on. A lot of feedback. Maybe you want questions answered or you want feedback for, I don't know. But nobody else has the questions for you. You you have it all inside you. You already know the right answer. You know, things like that. I would never, ever depend on anybody else to, you know, make that decision for you. You know? Okay, hold on. Yeah, it's just a lot of people stuck on their feelings or in their emotions, you know, um, just somebody's not being fair, but it's like somebody wants approval for something. But it has to do with like either a family relationship, a love relationship, a friend relationship, some kind of shit. But there's there's a lot of stuff going on that's not so great. So don't ever second guess yourself either. All right, so this has to do with work. It's someone's feeling like they don't have enough. They made the wrong choice. Um, you don't really make the wrong choice 
Um, sometimes we were supposed to do this, but we went this way. So when we get this way, we still have an opportunity to get back to where we, where we were supposed to be. Um, but you're probably looking at this situation with the distrust in yourself or mistrust um, with someone else. Uh, and again, you can't blame that on anybody else but yourself. Hi, Eve. It's nice to see ya. How's PA? Um, you know, so you didn't really make a wrong choice. You just turned the other way and you'll detour and get back on track. That's how it always is. Universe, God, whatever, sends us, sends us millions of different ways to go. The universe is definitely on our side, but we attract, you know, we never assert. It's, it's what we attract. So if you're getting a lot of bad shit, it's probably time that you look at situations differently. So you can always hit me up and I can help you with that too. I'm cheaper than a counselor, cheaper than co-pays, you know what I mean? So anyway, but let's see. Yeah, so we got the wands again. It's just messages. You're hearing about something from someone, something's going on. It's a yes answer, whether it was good or bad, it's still a yes answer. So there's enough time for you and for everyone else. Ooh, 47. Damn, I think right now it's like, it's like 55, but it's going to be 71 today. I know. I know. I'm pretty stoked. I'm working on my tan. Well, I'm, do I'm, I'm doing well, Eve. I'm doing well. All right. I'm going to get back over to this with these cards. I'm feeling like some of you don't, not that it's negative, but some of you don't want or like to hear the blunt truth. So we'll use the, what I like to call the pussified version. <laughs> Is that horrible? I know, that's horrible. I probably shouldn't say that. But what else? All right. So we got somebody that is recovering, coming back from what they might consider to, uh, a defeat, but it's not a defeat. It's just a comeback. You're different than what you were, you know, yesterday. Maybe you changed your mindset about a certain situation. You were burnt by the sun. You know, maybe... Maybe you thought that the reach was too far, so you freaking <laughs> burnt by the sun. Ain't that hilarious? Maybe I should be wearing some sunblock, huh? But uh, somebody was burnt by the sun. Maybe having too much ambition when you thought about it, but then when you went to go do it, you self-doubted yourself. So then it was like a fail, even though it's not a fail. You know, um, you were reaching too high, but maybe not high enough. Something, something like that. It's not for me to decide. That's for you. So the last day in the light, so unexpected ending. Somebody had like a fast traumatic type incident happen, uh, sudden shifts in energy. So maybe yesterday you were a negative cunt and then today, you know, you're feeling optimistic and better about yourself. And then therefore, you know, if you're happy and excited about yourself, about your life, others will be too. They're just, it's drawn to you. It's what you attract, you know, that's how it is. What else can this person do? Ecstasy, yielding, rapture, and bliss. So do whatever. Hi, Raven. Do whatever. That's okay. Come on in. Do whatever excites you. See what I tell you. I told you one of the kids would be interrupting, and it's the oldest one. It's the freaking oldest one. Well, you might as well say hello to everyone since you just interrupted my life. She's lucky. I love her. Who is that? My dad. Oh, it's your dad? Yeah. Hey, Ben. Yeah, so anyway, yielding. Don't hold back. Let everybody have it. Wave your freaking freak flag loud and proud. You know, get out there with an extension pole and fucking rock that shit. Have your own mini parade. That's what I would do. I was having a parade yesterday when we went for a walk, pushing a baby stroller, and then Isis, and then all the other little ducklings along, Yeah. Yeah, you're craving a newness, um, some kind of obsession. Maybe it's a new passion. There's nothing wrong with that. So do whatever makes you happy because in the long run, it's only you anyway at the end of the day. So that's so all I got for y'all today. So deuces.